Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back in the original world of Hearts of Iron 4, and this is a world that was built upon different empires. Empires clashing in the great game of houses. Wait, no, not houses. That's like Game of Thrones. Ah, racial politics and ideology. Yeah, that, it's World War II. That's way more accurate here. That makes more sense. But speaking of empires, there is a nation out of all this that we have yet to play. The granddaddy of them all, the United Kingdom. Yeah, the UK at the start of World War II was not exactly ready, but simultaneously it was not nearly in as bad of a position as the French were. With still a massive world-spanning empire, resources to draw upon, as well as population, the UK would honestly be in the best position to be able to resist the Germans. But why resist when we can, uh, have some more fun instead? So without further ado, let's launch this and change some history. Ah, the United Kingdom, where the spiciest thing to come out of our country is explosives, because the spices definitely are not going on our food. See, the spices stayed in India, we just exported all of their food to feed ourselves. Yeah, ain't history fun? This totally will not be a problem. First things first, let's get our research going. We actually start as the most technologically advanced of any of these societies. I believe, which is just so powerful. Get our industry, we start out with a very decent industry right from the get-go, and also amazing infrastructure, so yeah, we're just gonna build some of this up. And military factory-wise, we have a decent amount of things in here already, but we are going to need a lot of guns. Next up on here, the focus tree. We actually have a fairly decent focus tree. It's not necessarily too deep in any one direction, but it is very broad. There is actually a lot of options that we can do historically and ahistorically as the United Kingdom. But come on, guys, this is a historical World War II game, so you know exactly what we're gonna do. Not to do anything historical. Oh no, and then King George dies. How, how tragic. Yeah, there goes our stability. And adds us Edward, who no one actually likes. Lovely. And now that we've decided to change our course, there are three different options that we can do. We can either go with the royalist, we can go with the fascist, or we can go with the communists. And while all of these look incredibly spicy and fun, we're the British Empire, boys. So you know what that means. Now we can't actually do anything here until Edward goes and marries Wallace Simpson, which if you don't know that story, oh, that, that is a fun one. Basically, the gist of it is that Edward wanted to marry an American divorcee, something that was truly scandalous to the British establishment. So ultimately, he gave up his right to the throne in order to be allowed to marry the woman that he loves, which honestly, honestly, that, that's lovely. But why don't we change things? So in the meantime, limited rearmament, we actually get really good bonuses to construction and whatnot. This is so nice. I feel so powerful as the United Kingdom. Is this what being British feels like? Minus the bad teeth? Oh, also, of course, cannot forget, we have an actual navy as the British. Put all those into one big block, give them a trainer, and let's go ahead and launch some naval exercises. We want to get some training going here as quickly as possible because we actually have the ability to do that, both in terms of oil and size of navy. Wow, look at how quick we rack up naval experience. Wow. Next up on here, reinforce the empire because of course we're British. And here is the event that I was talking about, the abdication crisis. We have three different options. Either the king can abdicate in order to marry the woman he loves. He can offer to compromise, which what this is going to do is mean that yes, they get married, but she's not actually going to become a royal. Or we insist on a royal marriage and it causes all of the uh, Commonwealth nations to just completely abandon us. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. We're royalty after all. I feel like I'm becoming Richard Nixon over the course of this. The king has made it clear that he has no intention of changing his mind now. The marriage shall go on as planned, exactly. Support for the king, let's fucking do it. And on top of that, we have the political power now. So get an army maneuver genius. Increases our speed by 15% and plus 0.4 army experience gain. That is going to be huge. In the fear of the king making a public radio statement that would give him too much support among the people, the minister, the prime minister is refusing to allow him to speak. Well, fuck you. No. Maybe I'll just go and write a book complaining about how no one in the world wants to give me privacy even as I'm trying to complain in public. Oh shit, maybe complaining actually did a lot. Uh, the entire cabinet resigns. A fallen government. We got a thing ruled by furniture. No one is in charge of the government. Dominions break with the crown. No, no. You fucking dominions. No, did I say dominions? I mean colonies. You fucking colonies. You dare turn against the king. You're going to fucking regret that. A king who is incapable of putting duty above his personal feelings cannot be trusted to act in the best interest of his subjects. So in other words, you're saying that I'm thinking with my dick. Well, my dick is telling me to crush you. Fucking Italians, get out of my country. God damn it. And there it is. The royal marriage of Edward VIII. Wonderful. That is now done. And so soon as this one finishes, boom, it is time for the king's party. Now that the crisis is over and the government has fallen, the king's most ardent supporters may be able to form a government of their own that is much more amenable to the king's wishes. Let's fucking do it, boys. Edward, you look so fucking sad. I mean, I don't blame you. You just got married. But it's okay, because God saved the king. Look at that sweet-ass flag. This is exactly what we want, you know? Let's uh just go over here and prepare for a little bit of fun, if you will. We're gonna need to start getting some things ready. Pakistan declares war on India already. 
You all couldn't even wait for a goddamn second for things to begin, could you? All right, next up on there is, is every English person's duty, oppressing the Irish. I'm sorry, but it was the natural course of action. What else did you expect? But if our food supply, <coughs> potatoes are secure, I think that means we can afford some uh, fancy jewelry again. Ah, Ireland, did you really think you could escape? Did you? I'm gonna have a lot of angry people in the comment section right now, I know. This is the reverse. Everyone loved it when I did India and nuked Britain. Now it's just gonna be a bunch of angry comments. Sell Yugoslavia airplanes? Of course I would. I'm not actually producing any of those bombers, but you can have what I'm not producing. Just for even less consumer goods. Absolutely. Invest in Greece? Pfft, that doesn't seem like a smart business idea. India. India. Did you really think that you could be free? I didn't think so, buddy. And next up on here, let's start appealing to the loyalists again. Go ahead and get that going. Because everyone knows that the world is loyal to the British crown. Why would you not? Bangladesh now declares war on Pakistan. Oh, no. Really? Really? I don't get a war goal against you, meaning I'm going to have to just justify and take a claim state. Okay. There we go. Take all of Southern India. Keep on moving in. Keep on moving in. There we go. Starting to destroy. Here we go. All right, there's that one. Appeal to the Imperial Loyalists. We got that done. Time to start to bring the Dominions back into the fold. If they won't come willingly, we take them by force. We're the British Empire. Come on. Come on. It only is right. It was only right that you were ever under the crown. Now you two, brothers, 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 it is time that you two learn to get along. Much in the same way as I'm about to do to these other folks over here. Everyone will be happy once again under the British crown. It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Because I think it's time we unite the Anglosphere again. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You have no idea what is coming, Mr. Wheelchair Man. No one ever expected the Great Bahama Migration. Oh, what's this? The German Reich declares war on Czechoslovakia? Why is that? Why is that, buddy? Why? Why? What, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? That seems a little excessive, don't you think? The Emu Empire declares war on Australia. Words I never thought I would be so happy to see. All right, quick, we better go ahead and get this finished off so that we can uh, send in some help, if you will. Quick, send some help to the Australians, get that done. And you, we're gonna send some volunteers as well. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They're just friends, friends who help each other. All right, come on, let's go, let's go. All right, there's general rearmament, extra research slot, go ahead and get that going. And more men, more men for the pile, because that is absolutely gonna be necessary. God, Britain is strong. We just keep on getting more military factories, more everything. Ethiopia requests overlordship of Eritrea. Pfft, no, 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 no colonial land for you. That's mine. Wait, did I, did I say colonial? Buddy, buddy, you already fell into the trap. Oh, wow. April 1939 and things get refused. The world burns even more. The Commonwealth of Nations. Oh, no. Is Germany actually going to get surrounded? Germany is legit going to get surrounded. They can't break through Czechoslovakia. They can't break through. Well, now Poland is going to be here. Oh, my Lord. Germany might actually lose. And despite all the military factories, we still get cost reduction on producing said arms. Ah, there we go. After months and months and months of fighting, we finally get that fixed. But what the fuck is this? The dawn of the French Union. France is part of the French Union with France. Yeah, of course I would think that. But what is with Ethiopia? What the fuck is that? Ah, uh, isn't this beautiful? All of the colonies back under imperial control. Right as it should be. Right as it should be. Everything is right in the world. But this is just beautiful now, isn't it? God, again, so many angry Indian comments now after the last round. Oh, there goes the fall of Paris. Are you serious? Germany takes down early war, 1939. And they managed to knock out Czechoslovakia, Poland, and France. Really, in, in one go. Wow. Wow. I actually did not anticipate them being able to do that here. You see, the bigger problem here is the United States is uh, starting to wake up. In like three months, they got 10 additional military factories. So on that note, before you uh, fully wake up, I think it's time you sleep. Remember that expression, get woke, go broke? Well, buddy, you're about to break. Go, my pretties. Go. Mow them down. They should have stayed asleep. There we go. There's a couple units wrapped up right nicely. And there's three more right there. Okay. Improve small airframe. We can finally start upgrading our air force and getting this going. This entire time, because we can know that we can overwhelm with numbers, we've only been producing the same of the exact same thing over and over again. Guns, artillery, and support equipment. You gotta bandage those wounds, baby, but shrapnel ain't gonna be fixed that easy. Thing is, if you can get up here to actually launch a strike on the United States, you're gonna be so far ahead of the enemy that they're not actually gonna be able to stop you very easily. Greece, stop asking me for support. No, I have bigger fish to fry right now. Detroit has never, ever looked cleaner. And hello there, Chicago. Have you ever heard of a little thing called beans and toast? I think you'd like the new flavor. Wait, United States has joined the French Union. No, just because I offered you beans and toast pizza. Wait, no, what am I getting all weird for? France is dead. <laughs> 
that changes literally nothing. There we go, more wiped, more wiped. We are just spreading all along the coast. There is no stopping us. Poland joins the French Union. Oh, you little bitches, you little bitches. Our industry is simply so large they cannot actually touch us. There we go, New York has fallen, New York has fallen. Empire State Building's falling down, falling down, falling down. Oh, my fair lady Liberty, you didn't expect it, did you? Oh, I didn't realize we took Washington, D.C. That quick, huh? That quick, huh? Who would have guessed the United States' greatest weakness was Canada? Mexican oil nationalized. Oh, 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 really, really? You wanted to take my oil for my fried fish? Fish and chips, good sir. Fish and chips. And it's time for some imperial conscription. We're going to get that manpower, boys, whether or not you want it. Everyone's part of the empire. You know you want to. Oh, surrounded, surrounded. Wipe them out, boys. Wipe them out. Florida, you'll never threaten anyone again. Excellent compensation. Pfft, no. Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Oh, so me, I am working with the Germans and the Soviets. That makes total sense right now. Hey, what is this? What is the frick? The, oh, the frickin' Americans. Americans, why are you raiding Britain? Why are you raiding Britain? I am Britain. I'm supposed to be doing that. Not you. And now I get a request to be invited into the common turn. Oh my God. You know what? Yes, yes. The royal family of Britain is part of the common turn. Listen, we've only sacrificed around 300,000 people for this endeavor. It's really nothing much. And with the fall of New Orleans, so falls the last bastion of American pride, which feels really weird to say considering it's New Orleans. And now, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I still have all the points necessary to take and puppet Poland? Well, don't mind if I do then. <laughs> Hey, look, look, now we're all in the same faction, so we could be the Commonwealth, you know? Oh, wait, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Before we do this against the Germans, we need to get back our fish oil. Germany occupies Western Poland. What do you mean occupies Western Poland? Western Poland is my fucking puppet. That's my puppet. I did that. You bitch. You bitch. Did Poland give in because of that? Am I going to lose a puppet because of this? Well, fuck you, Mexico. All right, you're going to die now because I'm pissed off. In fact, I'm not even going to puppet you. I'm just going to straight up murder you. It's the only correct course of action. Listen, I have been to Europe. I have seen what you all call Mexican food, and it's the most insulting shit I think I've ever seen. Bulgaria will not comply with military restrictions. Restrictions? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck you. That is not what we want here, my friends. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Bulgaria, you can't do that. We'll deal with you in a second. All right, goodbye, Mexico. You ought not to have done that. I'm just saying. This is looking significantly nicer, I would have to say. Yep, yep, indeed. Now, we as the good overlord, of course, have to develop the colonies because, of course, that is what we are. We are British. We develop colonies. Hmm, yes. Venezuela now joins the Axis. Really? Really? Venezuela, of all places, joins the Axis. Okay. Wait, what is this? Create the pan-North American state? I didn't even realize this was an option. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I, can I just do this? What does that do? What does that do? Is my game frozen? Is it crashed? Can it handle it? Oh my god. The Dominion of the North American State. Oh, that's beautiful. And it got cores on everything. So I won't have to worry about any of this stuff. Okay, that's 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 awesome. That is actually awesome. Creation of the Dominion of North America. Following the recent conquest of the American mainland, Edward VIII has now passed a royal decree subsuming the former United States of America into the Dominion of Canada, renaming it into the Dominion of North America. Canadians, eat your heart out. This is gonna be beautiful for you. Now it's time to develop Canada, or what 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 was Canada? Um, yeah, this is still something that's insane. And now it is finally time to hold the Grand Imperial Conference. Mm, yes, I do say. Mm. Discuss Imperial Defense. And we're going to spend a tremendous amount of political power in order to try and make them agree with us. I don't know if that actually will work, but we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Oh, what's this? Imperial Federation? We just go ahead and annex everything? I don't mind if I do. I feel very British right now. <laughs> and there it is. The Imperial Federation. We just annex literally everything and get cores on all of it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's freaking beautiful, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Well, you know what they say, sun never sets on the British Empire. <laughs> well, at this point, there's only one thing left to do. Time to topple the government of Bulgaria, as is only natural for the British overthrowing governments in history. Too much sense, too much sense. Rise of the Imperial Federation, and down with the fall of the German Reich. We're actually pretty close here in terms of divisions. I've pumped out way more, and they are fucking throwing themselves at my front line. Oh, wow. Absolutely no defenses whatsoever here in France. We got a beachhead. And they are just throwing themselves against me here. That is, that is love. 
lovely. Just you, you all, you all continue to bleed out your manpower and equipment. That that's fine. That's fine. You all have fun with that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't appreciate you starting to try and push my men out of the way here. I, I don't like this. How many men have they lost so far? We've lost a hundred thousand. Wait, how many have they lost? Wow. Five hundred. Wow. Okay. Turns out allying the Soviets was a really good idea. Holy shit. They really are throwing themselves at my line. Wow. All right. Uh, hold, hold, motherfuckers. Hold, please. They're actually starting to take some of the territory. Oh no. Oh no. I'm actually being driven back in some places. <laughs> Aircraft production group quick. I should have gotten this way earlier to produce more fighters because fuck, I'm going to need a lot of these. Let's see if we can quickly move through and try to take out more of these. Wait, Norway joins the commentary. Why? Why? <laughs> Why would you attack Norway during all this? All right, quick. We're going to level that up. We have maxed out doctrine. Now max out air superiority. Increase that as much as we can. Holy shit. They are throwing so much at me. This is so bad. How many men have they thrown away at this point? Three million. How? My God, this is insane. All right, I guess let's prepare some air defense and oh, whoa. Oh, we are actually losing some territory now in here. Uh, Come on, flip over there. There it goes. Okay, okay, okay. Better defense, better defense and more air support. Oh, we actually have air superiority over the enemy now. How many have we destroyed in here? Shit, we've lost 400 fires, but we've downed almost 800. Still, our bombers haven't been able to do anything, but now we actually have air superiority. So this should be rather helpful, I think. So let's go back in here and start giving them hell again. God damn, we are gradually being forced back here, actually. Oh, we are wrecking enemy logistics now. That is perfect. Destroy all their trucks, destroy all their trains. We can weaken them even further this way. Wait, Italy declares on the Swiss Confederate. Why? Why would you go after little old Switzerland? Come on. That doesn't seem very nice. Damn, they actually cannot break through. 400,000 dead uh, versus a lot more on the other side now at this point. Holy shit, those initial attacks that they launch are dangerous. Holy shit, why are you still just throwing your men away? Why? Well, now we can go ahead and just uh, start moving our way in here, I think. Oh, what's this? Is this the entire army over here trapped? Well, that's going to be a little bit of a loss for you now, isn't it? There we go. There we go. What was that? Uh, uh, another like couple 300,000? Yeah, yeah, give or take. Though there's no way to tell because they're continuously still just throwing their men away over here at me. Oh, what's this? Even more trapped, even more trapped and destroyed. Oh, what a tragedy. What a tragedy, Germany. You're losing all of your men. How weird is it when you have the entire world basically against you at this point? Well, I guess it's time to just go ahead and burn them to the ground then. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Come on. There we go. There we go. Wrap up and destroy more. Wrap up and destroy more. Perfect. All right. There we go. There we go. Stop that for now. Stop that for now. Oh, at this point, we are eviscerating them in the air war. Yeah, no, there's no way they can do this. There's no way they can do this. And really now, you're going to declare on Yugoslavia when you're not in a position to really be able to do much. All right, well, buddy, let's just go. Come on, burn and destroy, burn and destroy. We are taking Southern France. We are taking everything. Our men are getting a little bit spread out. So you know what? I think it's time that we go ahead and launch the attack on the other side. Let's fucking go. Let's go. They've spread out their units far enough. We can do this. Sacrifice yourselves. We are the red coats. The red is for the blood that is on our uniform. So to, don't don't worry about it. Yeah, you're going to bleed a lot during this campaign. Anglo-Soviet invasion of Iran. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. We have to secure a corridor. It's only natural. The fall of Berlin. Oh, whoa. Have we already done that? And as soon as we do, Japan declares on us. Listen, listen, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just keep on going. Just keep on going. Fall of Hong Kong. No. Oh, no. Hong Kong. Oh, why, 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 why do I care? I don't. The answer is I don't. So good luck with that. Oh, no, I do care about this, though. Germany, why would you try to take all of this? No, leave, leave India alone. We're going to need some action actual conscription now at this point. Let's coerce Spain. Let's get this going. Come on. Come on. Keep on pushing our way south. Are we sacrificing millions of lives? Yes. Do I care? No. The great part about being in the British Empire is uh, sacrificing everyone else's lives besides our own. Oh, there goes the Germans, which means the Italians are next. And there we go. We sweep in Italy with our superior numbers and complete lack of care for human life. What's a good one and a half million people dead? Because there's the fall of Rome. There's some Italian units trapped. Benito Mussolini is deposed. And Italy fractures into civil war, even though we've We've already beaten like all of it. Transfer territory, keep territory. No, I think this is the British Empire. Not uh, not your empire, Italy. Get wrecked. We're gonna keep it. And they capitulate, which leaves us a grand total of Bulgaria. Bulgaria as as the great leader of the Axis. What a great leader you are, Bulgaria. Good good luck. Good luck with that. I love to see what you've done with the place. I love to see what you've done with the place. The answer was die. You know, I think it's time that we fulfill our rightful place and you know re reclaim that old idea of empire. Africa never looked very pretty when it was a jigsaw puzzle. We're gonna fix that. And there we go. What a what a what a very pretty new British world that we've created. <laughs> and now it is time for the battle of the fish cuisine. Sushi versus cod. What wins? Take over faction of the common turn. Sure, I'll take over the common turn. The true communist state of Imperial Britain. 
Let's just call everyone into the war now, shall we? I mean, Japan, Japan. If you wanted Hong Kong, you can have it. I'm taking everything else, though. Oh, no, it would be a shame if uh, Japan suddenly got invaded because all their forces are on land, so they have nothing to defend the actual islands with. Yeah, yeah, that, that ain't exactly looking too pretty for you, Japan. I bring with me love, education, respect. Okay, I don't bring any of those things, but I do bring an appreciation for tea, and I know you like that. A Swiss operative... What, Swiss? You're supposed to be neutral. Come on. Why are the Swiss in Britain? Come on. It's not like I have any gold or anything. I just have the entire world supply of wealth, but not their gold. You don't want me. Ah, there goes Japan. All right. Well, we didn't exactly get many points here because China is obviously going to take back the majority of its territory, but it, it is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my God. Are we actually going to get a North South Korea situation? Wow. Wow. We did. We did end up with a... <laughs> freaking democratic people's republic of north korea we actually got a north korea oh wow well, i mean this is less so south korea more so uh the imperial state in japan that still owns it which now i don't want to be a racist but i have a i have a distinct feeling that things might be a little bit off between north and south korea here now i guess the only thing left to do is kick the soviet union from our faction and fix things on this side then oh what the soviet union declares war on me really really you dare. You dare. Yeah, uh, Soviets, I, I, I don't think that you thought this one through very well. I don't think that you thought this through very well at all. Because this time we're also on the other side. So I don't think that you're going to be able to hold us back very well at all. Oh my, Tanatuva, look at how you've grown. And we can't move anywhere because of freaking supply in this region. Oh, and there goes Moscow. Moving in nice and quick. Moving in nice and quick. God, I got to say, even though this took until like 1944, this still was an extremely fun campaign. You're doing stuff for the entire time while you're playing like you are constantly in some kind of war doing some kind of political maneuver imperial britain is fun this is a really fun campaign but when you're able to divide the soviet's forces on two sides like th th they end up getting split over a massive front and all of their numerical advantage just disappears that and of course when we have over five million people that we're able to throw into the mix but um you know it is what it is because there they go all's well that ends in the world a world that is once again ruled entirely by britain Everyone, this has been Stakui with a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Uh, this was the Imperial Federation Britain run, the granddaddy of the Commonwealth, the OG Empire Builder. I have to say that it was an incredibly fun game, and I highly recommend that you try it out. It's it's genuinely very enjoyable. But now that we're at the end, I ask that you please like, comment, subscribe, do anything you can to help this video in the algorithm. Please let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. And I think we're going to try some new mods in here. So if there's any suggestions that you all have, please, again, let me know in the comments below what it is that we should do. Goodbye, everyone and have a good rest of your day.